Hi, Vaughn. How are you? Testing one, two, three. Testing. I hope hope we're going to get other people on the call. So far, no one else is here. I guess we should. Oh, really? Well. It's up to you. I mean, I don't mind spending a little bit of time if you want. I just, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate all the advice you gave me last month. Of course, if I can't hear you, it's going to be <laughs> a little bit difficult. Um, yeah, it says we're both unmuted. So you might want to check your, um, there's a test setting under audio on the right-hand side, uh, mic and speakers. If you click on the settings button, um, you might be able to test your, Mike, make sure you're getting the little green bar across the screen. Still nothing. Huh. All right, this, this is a new one. I've never had this problem before when you can hear me, but I couldn't hear you. And you're the presenter, which is even stranger. Ah. Hi, Derek. Are you there now? Oh, I found it. Okay, good. I found good. It. I hear you now. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes a mystery how these things work. Yes. So, how are you? I'm doing well. Just uh, good. Incredibly busy as always, and uh, you know. Things that pop up and you're that you aren't expecting that you know, like I this morning I had a computer issue, so I had to deal with that. And then I had a merchant account issue; they were withholding incoming payments for some reason, so I had to deal with oh, that. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, it's just just kind of one of those days, and I've got to run off to uh, to go to the dentist this afternoon. So just <laughs> tons, of, tons of fun today. <laughs> oh, re really nice day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the the weather here is just absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for oh. nicer weather. So it's Oh uh, my god, I'm jealous because it's still raining cold here. Oh no. Yeah, I guess for you guys months have really and months. You've had the the bad winter over there and we've had a really easy one. It's just kind of strange oh. how the the world works sometimes. <laughs> it's one of the reasons for me to do an internet business so I'm yeah. able to travel more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a nice you know, most of what I do is is um, is pretty mobile. Um, real estate is isn't, but um, it's very transactional. So 
you know, if I decide I don't don't want to do any more real estate, I just stop doing it, and then I can take off and and travel. Yes, is it is it still a good market in the real estate? Um, it's still recovering. It's it's still kind of at the bottom here in Florida. There certain markets in the U.S. were really hit hard. Uh, Florida, and pretty much the Sun Belt. You know, Florida, Arizona, California, Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, were all really hit hard, and there's still, you know, there's still a lot of of issues there. Yes. That need, you know, so we probably have another year before we really start seeing a true recovery, but uh, it's coming. It's just a matter of the the banks working through their the you know distressed inventory that you know foreclosures. <laughs> yes. and, I, you know, I went through the, a horrible time. I, I lost, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I lost more than a million dollars in the real what? estate market. Yeah, and it was it was really bad. So I had to pretty much start over from scratch. Oh, and, my God. Uh, so, yeah, I had spent, you know, I invested, and I think about all of the time that I um, you know, spent into rebuilding homes and, and getting tenants in there and, Oh, it's just uh, it's kind of heartbreaking, but you know oh, at the no. same time, you know everybody's kind of in the same situation, and it's you know how you deal with it that really makes the difference. So if you that's uh, true, you know you you realize that you know there's a situation that's bad, and, and there's also an opportunity that um, you know to kind of reinvent yourself and do things differently, and and. Uh, you know, hopefully recover with the economy when it starts to get better. And it, it is already. It's slowly getting better. But I know. I read that in the States you're going up again. Yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> it's, you know, this year will still be kind of slow, but I think next next year is going to be a good year. So Yeah. You know, it's yeah, all how you, I think. how you position yourself between now and then, I guess. Yes. And I think it's good. once you're uh, once you're up again, it's good to start all over again and just yeah. In some respects, it's a it's a, it's a new opportunity to to kind of step back and and reevaluate how you do everything and and learn some new things and you know you know if you can make make your first million that it's you know the second one they say is a lot easier. So yes, you you double it in two years. <laughs> yeah. So let's wow, hope, I'm gonna let's be proud of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm getting some some things in place, but it's uh, you know, it, it's such a challenge to to try to do what you want to do without any capital, and uh, yes. having to kind of scratch and claw and and borrow and beg and um, you know, it's a little difficult. But you know, if I had a hundred thousand dollars, I could just I'd be off to the races in in no time. But yeah, you got to deal yeah. the deal with the cards you're dealt. So. Yes, because nobody's going to give you a hundred thousand dollars these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very, I, you know, I probably could go out and raise it, and I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm just, uh, you know, that being debt free is certainly nice too. And if you can start your your internet business inexpensively yeah. and start to generate revenues, and then you can use those revenues to to build with. That's kind of the the idea. So yeah. So how is your course going? I That's love good. the first part, but I without the tools, it, it's not it's not possible actually. Oh yeah, well, I can send them that to you. It's, it's not a not a big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, the, Wednesday is the last course or the, the last webinar. And oh, I'll, it's it's fine. It's fine. So how did you do? How is it going? Uh, pretty well. Uh, you know, a few technical glitches here and there, but those can be edited out pretty easily. So I'll have. You know, probably eight hours of, of video by the time it's all said and done, um, that I can package up into a, uh, a information product and wow. sell on my on my website. So, it's wow, just I think it's really valuable because you really take people step by step. And yeah. I thought start, starting yeah. with this fi finance um, Excel sheet that makes sense. Yeah. It's really. Well, What's interesting to me is my, you know, I've I've had people question me. It's like, well, well you're a, a business plan consultant. Why do you want to teach people how to do it themselves? And my answer to that is, well, I, you know, I'm going to show them, and if they can, you know, good for them. But 
I think more often than not, they're going to end up coming back to me and saying, hey, I need help. And so far, the, the majority of people that are taking the class have come back to me and said they need help. When they, when they realize how much work is involved and how detailed everything is. So, yes, and then you know, they, I, see the, they see your value more, actually. Yeah, yeah, and mo there's just a, lo a lot of misinformation about what goes into creating a business plan and a financial model and an investor presentation, how you pitch to investors and, you know, what sources of capital to go after. So, you know, providing that information, I think, uh, you know, lets people understand what the process is and, and then they have to make that decision if they can really do it themselves or, you know, if they, you know, they have to you know, get some help. So, oh, it looks like Eric just yeah. arrived. Can you hear us, Eric? Yeah, hi. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. I've been on the phone, and I was trying to get the go-to meeting installed on my wife's Mac, and it appears to now be running. So let me see if I can hear you on that. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, Eric. Hello, Ivan. Yeah, I had to get on my laptop here hi, because Eric. my computer doesn't have it on there yet. So, so um, all the others uh, send an email just before, uh, just a few minutes ago. There you go. Oh no. What's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're getting an echo, Yvonne. Oh, sorry. I have to write the guilty party, but can you? I've got a plug in USB headset on a Mac. I have any idea how I can it. It works great with three. I just tried to mute and unmute everybody to see oh, if that. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Audio, 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 audio input. input. USB headset. <laughs> USB headset. Okay, okay, is your echo, echo gone? gone? Not yet. Not yet. No, it's a little better, but it's still kind of tinny sounding. Okay. Metallic. Hello. Is that any better? <laughs> Lot of echo. Oh. Okay, hang on. Maybe, Maybe I'll go back, back to the phone. Let me try one more thing, and then I'll, I'll go back, back to the phone, so we can then I can sort this out some other day. day. Okay, okay, hang on. Looks like I'm going back, back to the phone. phone. I, I think, think I can. I can watch. I think still. I just mute this, this thing. thing. Yeah, just click on the. There's the audio over to the right. You can click on telephone or mic and speakers. If you just click on telephone, you'll still be able to watch the. Oh, screen. yeah, hold on with that, Todd. I just got, I got, you know, I'm juggling two headsets. So I'm, I'm muted so I can watch the screen, I think, and then I, you can hear me on the phone. Perfect. Yeah. This yeah, is great. Right. And then, so I, you know, software, it's always so easy. <laughs> so welcome. Well, I'm just Thank looking you. at my, I'm looking at my emails, and uh, Margaret sent an email um, with a request to reschedule, and Robert did so, Jake canceled, so... What do we do? <laughs> yeah, it's it's up to you because you know. You, well, I'd love to. I have some questions for my um, uh, membership, so maybe okay. we could could. Well, why not? Yeah, why yeah, not? we can why talk we about it. If you want to maybe do yeah, like a, do a short one now, and we can yeah, do a short do one next short. time again. Okay. Okay, let's do it short then. So, Eric, uh, just short. How are you doing this month? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, I'm 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 well. Life's good. I'm um, uh, basically gearing up to get to work on on my offering, and um, that's good. All right. Okay, so maybe that's the next hot seat. <laughs> yeah, I think you get it because you're you're here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the only one here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Eric. <laughs> well, hey, it's a good thing. You should okay. want to do a hot seat. So I'll put up. Right. I'll put up. Um, our website. Um, yeah, of course, it's in Dutch, but I think you get you get the point uh, behind yeah, this. You've got that English flag over there, a British flag. You can yeah, click but, on. but the British flag is is not really useful because then you get um, a small part of the website which is only for personal training clients. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, because most of our business is in Dutch. And uh, the Eng when I'll, I'll switch to the English, and you'll see it's just it only has a few menu options. Oh yeah. 
that is really because Inge has a lot of expats as clients. Hmm, so okay. it's not. But I think because um, the first question I have, because a um, little bit about this membership, I introduced it about one and a half year ago, because memberships were hot at that time, and I thought I need to have one, and um, we created a promise to do a video of um, Inge cooking some recipe, plus a video of uh, a small workout, plus every month a live um, webinar. So every month you get those three things. And um, we promised, we launched this and we had about 150 members in the first launch. And after that I never really promoted it again. And I, the only thing we did was add videos to the club every month. Sounds like... And, and how, um, much do, how much do people pay for the membership? Um, first price was 8 euros, say about 12 dollars, so 11 dollars, and now it's 15 euros, that's about 19, 19 dollars. Okay. Um, and the only, so I, I want to improve the membership and I want to go up to 500 members the end of this year, because now we have about 120 left, and it's all, well, not much happening, no complaints, but no no, not much, um, well, not much going on in the club. Mm -hmm. So what I did first, I'll, I'll go to the club, is uh, I restyled it, I made it all in green, so because we had this badge here uh, at the right corner, so now you can see you're in the club. Good. And then I added these pictures, because there were no pictures at all. Mm. Um, that makes a big <coughs> Big difference to a lot of people. Yeah, I think I think I asked some people. I think this is okay now because this is um, this says recipes, this says exercises, and this is a community uh, like forum. Mm -hmm. And now what I did is at the, because I the login was not very clear. I put it here because most websites have it here. Mm -hmm. It says uh, welcome, password, and log off. My first question is: Should I put this at the at the home page as well. So do you think I should I put this at every page so that you see there is a membership? Because it's not on our home page now. Or should I keep um, it? Up? Well maybe, yeah, because what well, I mean I followed your I followed the, the URL that you sent us in the email and you know yes. I had no problem logging in but I didn't try to come in through the top. So all right, so, so I should so I should put it at Oh, it should put it in every header, actually. Well, maybe, yeah. Um, right, because I mean, you know, maybe I can remember the name of the website, but I don't remember the, you know, what, where, it's a lifestyle club <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would also add, it would also get people, like if I would guess if you would click on the login, you'd get to the main page of the, of the, of the membership site piece, right? Yes. And then they'd have to log in there. So Yvonne, it, it, the the site, the website overall. What is the the kind of the core purpose of the so the the, the club is just like a segment of your website? Is it that it is okay? It is yes. So I mean, what is the it overall is. purpose um, of the the main website? The overall purpose. Well, we are we are still changing and improving, but um, the the main idea is uh, the help to promote the healthy lifestyle. Okay. And to sell, to sell um, our programs, ebooks, and courses on the healthy lifestyle. So this is the okay. sales page. Ah, here we go. Uh, and so here you see our pro. We they all started with two ebooks, mm -hmm. uh, like um, from fat to fit in 90 days, and a recipe book. Mm -hmm. And then um, we created the bikini body program, which is also with video, summer shape specials, same thing. Uh, course, more expensive, the club, and this is some of Inga's stuff that goes on uh, in the gym. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, so it looks like a lot of different revenue streams. So, yes. Okay, so the club is just uh, one of the offerings and you're just trying to promote yes, that. Well, the, I 
the idea is that people do one or two or three programs and then they ask for more and more and more and then we, we offer the club. That is sort of, yeah. Okay. Now do you have, you have specific landing pages that funnel into the, the club page or how are you, how are you promoting it? Um, not yet. That's a good question. Not okay. yet. Is that uh, maybe well, I, uh, a good way to, to generate a lot of traffic just for that club? Is I'll, to, write, to I'll write that down. We, we do have the landing page, but it's very hard to get there. <laughs> so that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if it's a, a Google AdWords or some other, you know, form yeah. of advertising that you're doing that drives people directly to that page, that might yeah. be looking we don't, for we don't do that yet. I will I write that down because that I will this is the landing page for the club. Okay. Cool. So yeah. you see Inga Inga promoted and uh oh. And so then so. yes, yes, I'll be a member and then you get some yeah. but we don't have oh, this is okay. What do you know about your current members? Do you know, are they exercising regularly? Are they, what do you know about them? Um, well, not much. I, I know about, well, maybe, maybe I do know. Um, because so most, most of them did uh, one or more of programs. So I know mm -hmm. them by email. And okay. um, I think about half of them are really what you could say uh, hardcore healthy lifestyle freaks yep so they do everything in a says like they, right, right. they try all the recipes they try the exercises they well they're always enthusiastic right. um, I think about 30 percent is never there they just member and then I think they completely forgot about it mm -hmm. and I we do send them emails but they never well we never hear from them. Okay. And twenty percent is just there for the food. They're not really into exercising. That's okay. Well, you, you have you have a group of women who don't want to do exercises. But they like the recipes. Yeah. Yeah, they're more into cooking and uh, clean yeah. eating. Well, I came across a a, a guy the other day, a U.S.-based guy, uh, Jorge Cruz. Can you can you type that in the chat uh, box? Yeah, where do I where do I? Oh, you uh, don't. <laughs> you come. No, no. Here, I've got I've got it. Let me uh, hey. beginner here. Okay, I right, type message here. Right. Uh, the, 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 I found out about this guy. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I, I, I got him. I, okay, so, so uh, a friend had recommended. He, he wrote a book in like 2000. It was like eight minutes in the morning. It had gotten really good traction on like morning television in the U.S. Yes. And it, it was like, you know, it was targeted at people who were overweight and not in sedentary, you know, not exercising. Okay. And, uh, and a friend, and it had a 28-day program laid out in the, in the book. She did that and liked it, but then she never went anywhere else with it. Now, the, then I went and looked at this website to go see what he got. He's actually now about the, the belly fat cure. It's got no exercise, and it's it's pretty much a low carb diet is what he's oh, pushing. Oh, all right. Uh, but what's interesting is he's he's got a really low cost membership program that's like four four dollars a week. Uh, but I think he's got millions of subscribers, and it's pretty much all it's all recipes, it's instructions, it's videos of of uh, him prepping food. All right. So it's it's ridiculously simple. Now part of it I don't part of it bugs me because they're saying like drop 80 plus pounds of belly fat like you know sorry I have no way I'm going to lose 80 pounds of you know, <laughs> so there's a piece of it that strikes me as like how can he ethically say this but I believe that he's being wildly successful and I also guess that he's got that quality of authenticity and that he really says he does want to reach 30 million people in the in the in the book that I looked at that was in 2000 he already had like 3 million online customers so wow. anyway, we'll, so we'll check him out. Thank yeah, you. I would, yes. I, I would look. It's it's really simple because the nutrition information is it's you know it's nothing he invented. It's all the that stuff where everybody knows that it's about insulin and that you know low glycemic index and all of that stuff is 
is what he's pitching, and he's got some nice looking recipes. Oh, so right. uh, the the another thing that I've been looking at once I realized that <laughs> once I realized wow this is Sorry. really simple and he looks like he's making a lot of money. <laughs> and, you know I was kind of like oh maybe I don't have to be quite so complicated. But he, it appears he's completely dropped exercise out. Maybe he found out 10 years ago that he's got, you know, people don't want to exercise. I don't know. I, I, you know, I think it's a piece of what I want to inspire <laughs> people to do because I think it feels good, right? And then as a side note, there's another people I've looked at that are doing, um, basically, uh, it's a membership site, but what they're providing within the membership site is, is more of an accountability structure. So they provide them some, uh, you know, assignments or whatever to do, and then they have them somewhere where they check in every day, you know, whether they did it or not. And the, that system was originally put together to support like graduate students and professors in getting their writing done, and the person yes. is reposition, repositioning it to other markets. Mm. But I thought that was interesting because part of what she pointed out was that with some you know, membership sites, the problem is if you get tired of creating content, what do you do? So in the accountability thing, there's actually like chat groups within it. So there's, then you kind of put people together in groups of the people who started at the same time or something like that. I haven't, I haven't got all the details on it yet. It just kind of came across my radar a couple of days ago. That's but, a great idea. So, so because the, I was looking for tools or things to do in the club, and that could be something, to have little groups yeah, and it gets a place to, to report in and check, and there would be some commu some active community piece, yes. and you could still do the videos and all of that, but there's a piece about maybe people could express what their goals were. Yes. Because it sounds like, it sounds like from your description, if you've got some people that are the hardcore, they've already got the, the practice of exercise and nutrition is in for them, and they just want more information, right? But then we've got these other people that may be the beginners that never got started. So, you know, I don't yes. know. What there is to say about converting those people, because it's, it's clearly the, the the Jorge Cruz guy is going after the people who pretty much never got off their butt in their life, you know. <laughs> and, 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 you know so, and that's a huge market. That's like enormously large, which is kind of scary. In the gee, how small is your niche? Well, it's not small at all. It's you know everybody who's yeah, not not in rock. this country anyway. We've got plenty of obese people, so. He's got a great yeah. market. I, I think you're dead on to Eric because you know it makes sense to really niche down your audience uh, as best you can. Because if you're trying to, yeah. you're trying to yeah. go after everybody that's interested in in eating well and and in fitness. Yeah, that that's a good point because you've got people that are brand new, yes. you've got people that are very experienced. Um, and another another thing I would suggest, Yvonne, is to think about maybe having different levels of, of membership. Yes. Um, that, so like you could have like a beginner's membership, you could have an advanced membership, you could have like a gold, platinum, whatever you want to call it, where you know they might get some one on one attention. Um, you know, there's a lot with Inga. So there's there's a lot of different ways you could probably set this up where you can generate a lot more interest and a lot more money. Um, I'll write that down. To, so, so maybe a few levels could be good. Yeah. So you know, you have a very, very low-priced level to get people in to kind of familiarize them with what you do, and then you can kind of try to upsell them to the next levels. You know, the ascension model is. Uh, it's actually I have a a really cool diagram. I'll have to see if I can find it and make a copy. But it talks about the whole ascension model from you know, from the very beginning when you're, you know, you've got something that, a free report that you're giving away on a landing page in exchange for their information to um, that initial micro purchase where they're, you know, paying you very small amount for some additional information yes. and then getting them mm -hmm. into a, a membership club and then kind of sending them up the ladder. So they're, uh, as you build trust, you also build your revenues as, and, you know, you, you get people to, to purchase more, yeah. Uh, so I think that makes sense. So, so tell us what you exactly what you're giving away with membership right now. You said there's video content, there's recipes and email yes. letters. Is that it? 
No, the email letters are is for for the for the whole mail, mailing list. Okay. So um, what they get is um, well, this is just a list. Oh, you have to be. So hang on. Have to log in. Um, the recipes for now it's just a list of, um, of the recipes so we have to work that out maybe group them but every recipe is a video and also um, also the the PDF uh, where you can see in uh, in our kitchen I'll show a little bit okay So you see here in the kitchen, hmm, that's very cool. And what she does, but every recipe, she starts telling what are the ingredients for um, the nutrition and value, that sort of stuff, and then she starts preparing it. Um, and well, you you also get the the instruction how to do it the recipe probably I would say on an instruction page a picture of the finished dish would be great yes people ask that but every time we make a picture it looks so uh, dirty but <laughs> oh, I know it's like, you know, there are those people that are food stylists at least in the yes. US that like make them beautiful with the, they just did the food there's water <laughs> droplets yeah. on it yeah yeah, we, we learned recently, because in the beginning we did that, create do photographs, but we learned that food stylists uh, make the photo with uncooked food. Oh, because okay. when you cook it, because I think we do have, we try it. Uh, let's see what it is. <laughs> right. You don't want to eat it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, it's not quite the same, yeah. But still, it makes sense. Look, <laughs> yeah, it's like this, wow, Okay, <laughs> this is a, this is a breakfast, uh, but there are better ones. <laughs> okay, I'll write that down. <laughs> I'll write that down. Get pictures. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you got to do about it, or you know, garnish, or here's it with some berries or something. You know, whatever that breakfast thing was, but you know, like some yeah. color. I think that I think maybe this one's better. It's just one more. I'm not sure. I think this has a little more color and that's great, yeah. Uh, well, take some time. In the end, it's finished. Yeah. Huh? It's good idea to to have to get pictures. We we'll put that on the list. Mm -hmm. Good, and I, I like to just that there's more color to it. Is I think more attractive. Yeah, most of, most yeah, of them have more color. Pepper. Yes. So, yeah, this one has more. Yeah. So, Yvonne, mm -hmm. what's what's on the fitness side? You have you have yeah. fitness information in this club as well. Yes, show okay. you. But it's, it's a middle button. It's a middle button. <laughs> yeah, right. Or or the sidebar, or uh, whatever. Yeah, often whatever. <laughs> um, that is. This is the foam roll instruction, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. so it's you, pretty much the same, just with the fitness stuff on. Yes, it. yes. Okay. You see, Inge do. Well, you see, Inge do some. Yeah, yeah. Well, some exercise. Do you, Do you guys do uh, any kind of printed, uh, like a newsletter or anything like that no. that you could no. send? So that might be something like, that that helps. Uh, um, do you mean really in the mill, uh, like snail mill, old-fashioned mill? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, okay. that a lot okay. of value to some people. If you send them, uh, wow. you know, a monthly newsletter with a you know a CD or a DVD in it, something they can physically touch and wow. feel, it adds. And that may be, you know, that might be something at the higher level of membership. Um, that you could. Another idea is um, having like a monthly conference call. Where yeah, we do have that. Oh, okay, so you can. Yeah, like, we do. But 
Yeah, but I like the idea of the news. I write it down. We do have a conference call. We call it the online seminars. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if it's if it's a forum forum where people can ask questions, um, that yeah. just gives them a kind of a sense of belonging. Like, hey, you know, as opposed to just um, you know talking about a topic, if you let them ask questions, that might be a cool uh, yes way to kind of keep people in yeah. the program. I'm I'm changing to a new tool now because up to now we do um, we do online webinars and people can ask questions through the chat through the chat box. Yeah. But but uh, now I'm going to use another tool called Meet Cheap. I think it's like Go to Go to Meeting. Oh, okay. And there people can ask question um, uh, well by voice. I think that would be much more interesting, much more fun. Yeah. Do you get uh, a lot of questions now, Todd, in your um, webinar? I, I actually haven't, and I, I'm just attributing that to the fact that I'm just covering everything perfectly, and <laughs> yes. people don't have any questions. But, uh, you know, I think people are trying to soak up the information. So, um, oh, your, I think your topic is, you know, people are much more familiar with food they eat and the exercise. Yes. Um, yeah. The one of the things Eric said about you know, possibly making the site interactive, and I know it makes it a lot more challenging, but where people can, if they could enter in their information and track their progress, like for yes. a fitness program, uh, I think that would kind of add value as well. I think we need that. Do you, are there, as far as you know, are there tools you can buy to for WordPress? I, to I Yeah, I'm sure there's I'm not... a, a SQL database that could where people could enter their information and you can, you can track their progress and, and give them reports. Um, do you use some kind of uh, tool? What, what's the software behind this this whole membership site? Uh, this is Wishlist Member. It's a WordPress plugin. Okay. Do you know it or? I don't personally, but okay. I'm gonna actually write I, I, I know I know of it. I haven't used it, but um, I think it's great. You can, all the things with the levels and all the stuff you can put that in the plugin. That's great. Um, so the tools, I think I really need some tools so that people have a reason to come back. Yeah, I was wonder. There's um, this that thing I was I've been looking at is that, that this idea that there's you know there's a bunch of websites that are that are free that provide things like food tracking and what. Fit Fit Day, I think, is one of them. It's something like that. They have a really nice. I think it's called FitDay.com, and it's, uh, it's the one that does all the nutrient analysis and everything for you. Very simple to use. Hmm. Uh, of course, oh, that's right. not sending them to your website, but uh, that's just kind of as a thing that answers that. But I, I'm yeah. I'm aiming more towards the how do I keep them in in my territory, right? Which is the the community participation part. Mm -hmm. I was also wondering um, if you could survey your current members, you know, and ask and find out more about them or what would they like to see or, you know, that basic ask them a question or two and, and have them tell you what they really want. Yes. Uh, I think I can do that. Yeah, okay. Survey Monkey and there's some other free tools that are make that real easy to do. Yes. I'll do that, but I think I think maybe I, yeah, I I do that. And what kind? And, and you know, you could ask them about what would they be looking for. I mean, you could give them some leading questions also, but then kind of the wide open. Yes. How could I how could I serve you better? Kind of a question, you know, in your goals, or maybe even ask them what are their primary goals in this area, or what you know, what do they want to see, or what matters to them, or some some basic like who are they, what do they really care about, kind of questions. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I, I think you have a lot of great content. It's it may be just a matter of, of kind of repackaging it a little bit so that people I think so. so people see the value. Yeah, you know, like in the webinar list you have there, you've got a couple of them have real brief descriptions. But you know, yeah. even just writing a little paragraph about, you know, the, each topic I think would All be right. kind of cool. That would yeah. yeah. I think I should work on all those pages more to get, get, yeah, make maybe, them more attractive. Maybe a screenshot yeah. of the yes, <laughs> yes, same kind of thing. 
that makes sense. Okay, I have I have a lot of inspiration. <laughs> so um, if I the first thing I have to do is survey the members and ask them how can I serve them better? What are their goals? Uh, yeah, what yeah or just or or propose things like say, well, would you be interested in receiving a monthly newsletter? Would you, if we could offer you X, Y, and Z services, what would you pay for them? Okay, uh, so is it, like is that. it better to propose things instead of open uh -huh. questions? I think you can do both. I think I, well, you know, Jeff's pretty much into open questions, right? Or either that, or he's already got something in mind and he wants feedback on it. Mm -hmm. But I would, I think you're more likely to find out something you don't know if you have it be um, open-ended. Yes. I also wouldn't have any conversation about pricing yet. This is more about what do they care about, yes. um, not what would you pay for. That's, that's, gonna, that's, that's, that's a whole different conversation than, hi, I want to serve you. Uh, what do you care about? What's important to you? Yes. I, no, I'm not going to ask about pricing, no. So I yeah. think that's that's very important step and all in the meantime I can sort of well make the content more um, easy to to see what it is add some more paragraphs and pictures and stuff like that yeah a little summaries of it you you're, yes. you had a question on the email that she sent out that was about uh, did the new members get the same content as the members who pay from the beginning yes what do you think about that because I people who know. start yeah, I think it's all right, um, unless you hear otherwise. I mean, there's 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 a couple things. Uh, depends on the total amount of content you have, and is and if it's actually organized as a progression. You know, if it's organized as a progression, then maybe you do want to drip it out to them. You know, like you know, certain items in one week, and then you know, from from the day. And I know you can make wish lists do that, but yes. But if it's not a progression, then maybe you just have them see the whole thing. The other thing that might be interesting, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can tell this from what, I don't know if you can tell the basically the click history for people, like how far do they go? Like when a new person comes in, where do they go? And how much of the content do they actually see? I'll you know, write I it down because I think I can I can see that through uh, Google Analytics flow these days. Okay. I'm because sure. I, I know Jeff, you know, as he was saying that, you know, originally with PLF they would just give you the whole giant, you know, box of DVDs or the whole thing and just people were you know, overwhelmed and kind of paralyzed in the face of the thing. And that was his argument for, you know, having it broken down in modules and the modules come out, you know, like every 10 days or whatever. And I know that um, Brendan Burchard on All the right. Access Academy kind of does that also. But it's, it's, it's not so much that they're withholding information, it's more like keeping people from being overwhelmed. So it, I think it depends on Yes. Depends on what you're up to, right? Um, yes. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Whether the whether the membership site functions as just kind of this general resource that people can go search for the yes. thing they want, or whether there's a path you're leading them down. Like, okay, now we're going to talk about basic nutrition, and these are some great exercises. And but yes. I think again, you could find out from the survey what are they looking for, what's missing for them, or what are they what would they like to see. Yeah, yes. but my answer to that would probably be along the same lines as as uh, the membership levels uh, you know maybe the the higher level has access to everything past present future and and the basic level maybe has more limited access to to certain information i think that's oh, kind that of could also be a solution yeah so when you have the highest level you get everything yeah i mean you could have but again i think you know eric makes a good point too you don't necessarily want to throw everything at someone at once but um, you know if, if it's you know you join as a basic member then you kind of get the information going forward if you join as a, a gold member then you have access to the archives and you can go back and search you know different things and you have access to more information I, you know like that seems like a fair way to, to do it you know I, and 
Uh, Yvonne, that other question you were asking uh, again on your write-up about uh, the thing about well, hey, we answer these, we answer a bunch of the questions anyway. You know, they, on the, I don't know yes. where do you have the. Is that I think if you would still maybe answer their question in in a basic form and then basically send them a link to like a really you know if you want more information, there's a whole discussion going on in yes. the membership site. Uh, you know, it's, it's like the teaser. You know, it's like, hey, here, and now you want more, here's over here, right? And, yes. Uh, and you might even get in the practice of doing that, where you give somebody, they ask a question, you could give them the answer on the free part, it's the summary maybe, and if you've already got the content written that's all about that, you would just yes. send them the link. If not, they're telling you what they care about, so then it would be good to write a blog post on the private side or whatever. I'll write it down because actually uh, I have this thing going and I had no nothing in, no um, warnings when someone put a post in the forum of the club. So for months uh -huh. and months I completely forgot about it and then somebody wrote in the forum, uh, you don't, you better not ask your questions here, ask them on their blog or in email because then, because then you get an answer. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so that was really, really bad. And so that's a real good, yeah, oops, I better pay attention, yeah. <laughs> but you know how these things go in internet marketing, you have 2,000 things and when something falls off the radar, I, I never noticed, I just forgot about it. Yeah, so, easy to so do, I, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> so the forum, the forum died and that's something else, uh, because it should be the other way around, like you say, Eric, and I, I wrote it down, I will do it. Mm -hmm. but, but the forum has a old post. The last one is from three weeks ago, mm -hmm. five months okay. ago, one year ago, two weeks ago, and that was mine. <laughs> yeah. So, should I just start over with this forum or just leave it? And well, well I wouldn't it. throw I wouldn't throw anything away. I, you know, it looks like you've got good content in there. I think it's a piece of maybe you have a committed writing schedule where you do at least, you know, create like one piece a week or something. Doesn't yes. have to be a big video or something, but something that has it be lively or maybe encourage questions that, you know, I don't know how you're set up right now, but if you could encourage discussion or at least yes. you know, questions and answers within that. And maybe even there's like an Ask Inga kind of a thing and, you know, that uh, yeah. it could be answered. Again, this is part of where you want enough of the stuff visible to the to the free people that you can pull them in. But it's um, you know it's that thing that you give them away some stuff, but you want to if you want more, then here's the details yes. on the inside. I think that's the way. To go. I I never thought about that. <laughs> it's weird. Thank you. So that yeah, that is the solution. That is the Good. solution. I have to give this club more attention and put it more at the front. Well, I heard Jeff saying on some, he was on somebody, he was on one of those, you know, teleseminar or those, whatever, those big live streaming videos for somebody else's product the other day, and, and he was talking about one of the, somebody asked him about how often does he write for various stuff, and he says he has many different lists, and he has a different schedule for each list, but that it is one of the things that he has in his calendar is, you know, what needs to be written yes. for which Piece, yes. you know, like once a week or, you know, some of them are once a month, some, you know, it depends on the frequency depending on what the yeah. need is. So, okay, I'll write that good. down. Well, I have two pages full of things to do now. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is really great. For me, this is, uh, well, all my questions are answered. I really know what steps to take now. <laughs> Hey, Yvonne, the only thing I would add to that last piece was, and I don't know if this is even possible, but um, maybe using like a, embedding a Facebook page um, as opposed to having your own forum. I, I don't know. There may be some more value in what you're doing here, but you, you may get more visibility using Facebook as your forum versus you know having a, a, an enclosed forum on your site. So something right. to think about. Yeah, the yeah. other the counterpoint are people like me who won't use Facebook, so I wouldn't go to you. You'd lose me, but 
I know I'm a minority. Yeah, you're definitely the exception to the rule. There's, <laughs> right, but, but I actually understand what's going on. I think sooner or later the rest of the world will wipe up. Yes, okay, I'll think about that. We do have a Facebook page, but that's open. I'll think about that. Yes, I'll think about okay. that. All right. Good. Well, so, sorry we had such a, a small turnout today, but hopefully you got some no good problem. information. I loved it. I think it I works think we very got, well with a small group. <laughs> I think we got good information for you, lots of different points of view. about. Uh, yes, about you really, really helped me because it stretched, because when you work on it yourself, you tend to think in the same direction all the time. And now uh, now it stretches my mind. Good, good. Now, what, do you, is most of the revenue then from product sales? Is that, I mean, outside of yes. the uh, guys' personal training, the stuff on the website, so it's just yeah, the most, program. Most of the revenues is from the programs. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, we, we use the PLF formula all the time, like yep. every six, six weeks. Uh-huh. And, um, well, this we have the recipe book. That is our. Well, people get a free, free uh, nutrition special, and the first thing they buy usually is uh, one of three, like the recipe book, the mm -hmm. beginners, beginners book, how to get fit, or uh, yep. both. Okay. And when they when they have one of those, they usually, well, some, not all of them, buy like. Um, for the more advanced programs like Bikini Body or Summer Shape, right. and this is our this is our top product. It's um, a course like they like PLF. They get content every week. Oh. And, uh, well, it's really a course with with a nutrition diary, like like you said. Uh, well, well, where the way they have. Yvonne, are these are these all physical products or are they no, mostly downloads? Oh wow. So who created the the um, the look for you? Is that Killer Covers or some other group? Uh, no, I have I don't know. I have the designer who who creates them. Uh, well, it looks really good. I think. Yeah, this cool. looks great. Huh? Yeah. So yeah, I, I need somebody to do that kind of work for me. And I I know Killer Covers I think does a lot of that, uh, but there are probably other groups as well. Okay, well I have a Dutch guy who does this. So if you if you want, I can introduce you. Okay. Yeah, I'll let, I'm going to check out Killer Covers, but if that doesn't meet my needs, I'll uh, I'll let you know for sure because I think that they did a great job with your stuff. I think so. It looks good. It didn't didn't before, so we re we really restyled everything. That's great. So I think the this is our best selling program, Bikini Body program. It has That's everything. <laughs> She's on the beach. She's yes. not in the Netherlands. She's it in the has, Caribbean or exactly. the Mediterranean. It yeah. has everything right. The marketing, the product name, the well, everything. That's great. And, uh, yeah. This is what we make the most money with because it's uh, the most expensive. Thing. And you sell you so you sell lots of those then, huh? Yeah, actually we have um, the launch starting in five minutes from now. Oh wow! We'll pay. All right. We sell it. We sell it every six. Well, we have to schedule to sell all the stuff. Uh huh. Good. But I want to make the club more important. So very see. good. Good. Yeah, I think you know, yes. cleaning it up and then creating some landing pages and driving traffic to it. I think you'll, yes. you'll do really well. So yes, I'll do. I'll keep you informed. Cool. So if there, because I now realize I have lunch. <laughs> Good. You have things to go put your attention on. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Uh, but Eric, could you be the next hot seat, or uh, shall I ask in the doodle? I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't think I'll be ready. Actually, I, I want to actually have something up, as opposed to um, stuff that's in week, uh, right? Say. Uh, well, we can just maybe. throw it out to the group and see who. Why don't we throw there? it out? And I, I, I think I've got something up by then. Uh, Okay, um, now. Because I think what's important for me right now is I, I just need to be in action on it, and I'm pretty much putting all those other you know, distractions I have away. So, um, oh, it's a good reason. Yeah, that's, that's my thought. I need to get like something up, you know, that we can then have a conversation about, uh, as opposed to like get another good idea about something. So, okay. Um, then, because what do we do? Because uh, most of the group asks to reschedule. Good. Well, I think we just maybe propose. I, I wonder if this time is good for people, or if it's, or if it's. 
No, I don't know because every well in the doodle everyone said they could uh, join. Yes. So it's, I'm not sure what happens. Okay. Uh, it's may, maybe maybe later is that better? I don't I don't. Yeah, I'm like, I'm flexible. So it's it's middle of the day here, so we can. This yeah, is just, an okay time for me. I I basically re I would normally be. I would normally be at the gym right now, but I'm willing to move that around. So if this is the time that works for everybody, because I'm the furthest, you know, west. Right. I'm, in, I'm in Pacific time, so uh, I just, you know, starts at 10 o'clock in the morning for me. I mean, I can make oh, it okay. work. So, so what so I could I, do is create some more dates and times and see what happens. Maybe widen it up a little, give a three-hour window or something. Um, yes. You know, to kind of see what happens. Okay. I'll do it. Okay, and I would say like the three weeks out, I think is about right for people. Um, yes. Like as Robert said, it's two weeks is you know people there's not enough going on mostly. So. Yeah. So let's do three weeks. Okay. So well, I, I really you. appreciate it for you being here. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good. And I, I I appreciate your desire to have the the mastermind work and that your encouragement. For me, it's like for me personally, I got to get in gear on this thing. So, um, yes, so I, I think know. part of part is what I'm looking at for me is uh, don't try to get it all perfect the first time. You know, like if I can't get an accountability structure built in three weeks, well, don't do it. Right? Get something up to sell. Step one. Yes. You know, have, have something. <laughs> have something yes. to go add. <laughs> so. Yes, that is important. Just throw it out. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know the 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 the, the free you know I got to get the free pre you know the freebies out and all that. So which I think is a bunch of them that are easy to do, like you know, nutrition, basic exercise, all of that stuff. Yeah, just so. get started. We'll we'll hold you accountable for that. Okay, that's <laughs> yep. great. Three weeks. Okay, that's that's me. Get started. Okay. Okay. All right. Something get, to sell. <laughs> get started Half now. The <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you both. Great thank you very today. much. I gotta go. You too. One minute. Okay. Good luck, right. Yvonne. So thanks a lot, okay. Eric. Thank you. Good luck on your watch. Right. Let us know on the list if you like how it goes. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. All right. Bye -bye. Take care.